we come to <coughs> electromagnets. We have just seen that ferromagnetic material, if I, if I put it inside a solenoid or maybe I wrap a wire, insulated wire over it and pass current, then it will become very strongly magnetized. And in that sense, I can use it as a magnet, right? As, as a magnet. And this is what is done in case of electromagnets. The additional advantage being, I can switch off my magnetism when I desire. Now there is a, now you'll, you'll, you'll say, why, why should I want to switch off the magnetic field? Because there are applications where you have to maybe pick up some iron object and put it somewhere. Then the, the normal crane, you have to apply slings and then apply slings. There are wire, steel wire ropes that have to be applied and, and then the, the material can be transported. No issues. Fine. <clears throat> the real trouble comes in where the material that you are trying to pick up cannot be put under a sling. And this happens in a scrap yard in a ferrous scrap yard, maybe sitting here you will not be able to even imagine it. You just imagine a building that is say four story tall, okay, and you have that kind of a, of a scrap in an area of say maybe, maybe half an acre, okay. And what happens? They are all irregularly sized things. So the trouble is someone going there and winding them. And, and tying them up and, and then the crane moving away, what happens? Many of these things are so loosely held that they have a tendency to fall down. So the moment you go to a scrap yard where, where things are so haphazard and there are very sharp objects, okay? So, so there the electromagnetic crane goes, switches on its electromagnet, things get attached to it, moves it, puts it in a truck or something and then switches off the magnet. The moment you switch off the magnet, the things fall down and then you are ready for another, another trip. You understand? So an electromagnet is a magnet at your own command. Okay? So, so they are <coughs> magnets with magnetic field with magnetic field magnets with magnetic field generated by the flow of electric current and hence can be and hence can have their magnetism switched off at will by turning the current off, right? By turning the current off. Now what kind of material do I require? Do I require a high retentivity material? Mm -hmm. No, I require a kind of a zero retentivity material. Otherwise it will become a permanent magnet and you understand, you understand whatever is stuck there that will remain stuck. I do not want that to happen. Okay, so, so immediately you will understand choice of material for electromagnets. Low retentivity, low coercivity, coercivity, No, weak magnets, no. No. See. First thing is high permeability. High permeability ensures that mu r is high. Okay, that is high mu r. So what happens? Your magnetic field becomes very strong inside, inside the, inside the thing, inside. and then 
low retentivity is because you do not want it to be a magnet at times. So if you switch off the field, just try to think. If you switch off the field, you do not want to hang in here. You do not want something like that. Because then you are done. Because then after some time it will it'll acquire so much of ferrous material around it, it will not be able to attract and, and you are gone. Then a person has to pull it off. So the whole advantage goes away. Is it not? So, so it's this. So it has to be a low low retentivity material. So maybe something like this. Isn't it? So kind of this. Okay, so so second is low retentivity. Normally, low retentivity is accompanied by low coercivity. You understand? As, as it starts dropping down, suddenly it cannot have be like this, that it comes here and suddenly it goes like that. Okay? Though there are materials that can be made, but still. And I and I do not need coercivity also. Why? Because as long as it is a magnet, fine. Okay? So, and the good choice is soft iron. Good choices. Low coercivity. Soft iron. Not required actually. Not required. Okay. And we know that the material that is used in our machines and motors and generators, they should have a very thin hysteresis loop that we have already discussed, right? There's one more thing to it. We'll, we'll soon understand a concept called AD current. So in machines, the material that is used the material, the ferromagnetic material, the ferromagnetic material should have, should have low, should have high resistivity, witty to reduce the impact of, to reduce the loss due to AD currents. What AD currents are? They are circular currents, currents generated, generated under cyclical fields cyclical fields okay more about it we'll study in the next chapter but they are circular currents which arise due to Lenz's law and and we do not want those currents to be very high so my resistivity has to be high so that these currents are 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 small okay And how do I use that? So that's why I use C R G O S S steel, cold, rolled, grain, oriented, oriented, silicon steel. Silicon is the material that increases the resistivity. That's why we have added silicon. C R G O S S, the material, the ferromagnetic material that we use is CRGOSS steel, okay, steel, steel is uh, CRGOSS, cold, rod, grain oriented silicon steel, okay, and what are the applications of electromagnets, applications of electromagnet, applications of electromagnets is number one, hmm? in, in, scrap yards and for lifting ferrous 
ferrous goods okay not necessarily uh, see even putting slings has to be done by a person right if you want to avoid that you can directly use it second second is uh, in loud speakers in loud speakers microphones microphones okay that ends this chapter okay